ladies and gentlemen it has been a while but would you just look at that we are getting freaking close now i'll tell you why it looks better on camera than it does in real life hey what a guy so we are waiting for windows we're waiting for the scaffolding to be lifted and uh, i need to order some tiles and some roofing products to put the roof on but we are getting very close let me take you around the side and show you what we're doing uh, i'm doing a lot of this work as it happens um the dodgy way so the scaffolding is still at this elevation and unfortunately the chaps can't get to me for a week or two but the weather is absolutely divine hey reg and i'm afraid i cannot wait uh, for the scaffolding to be lifted up to the table lift and uh, the ring beam so i'm just cracking on so we've got all the block work done and the inside up to wall plate we've got as you can see the steel in we've got the lean to roof rafters in position come on boys don't pay too much attention to my block work because uh, I have lost my bonding a little bit in some places but I'm not what they call straight nick in many places I am here or there but that's only the block work it doesn't matter right the bonding on the brickwork is a different thing altogether and that should be spot on splashed a little bit we've dropped some mortar and yeah you know I don't do this kind of thing every day but you live and you learn don't you so let's go down the garden turn around and have a look how far we've got well this week really where I've done most of the work check that out so I've been up there today and we've got the hips on we've got the king common rafters on the wall plate is obviously on and we've got all that timber to go up there so I've overspec the roof a little bit in order to uh, make sure I pass all the regulations so I've got a bit of software that I've been using which helps me calculate the um, ceiling joist sizes and, and ridge beam sizes not ridge beam uh, roof joists let's just go around the side look at all this brickwork five meter high wall almost so I'll just dive through dive through the window oh my goodness oh this is the service hatch oh, where we send everything up this is one of the steels that we've put in this is to take the weight of the roof and this is the roof so we've got some big 7x2 ceiling joists across here they're almost a 5 metre span that's why they're in probably could have got away with slightly smaller C16s but these are 7x2 C24s and I'm very pleased with them had a bit of an issue around the hips getting the hips in and where they uh, intersected with the ceiling joists massive seat cut on that but I mean I don't see it being a huge problem it's very strange because you've got to keep the because um, it's such a big ridge uh, hip, hip uh, rafter you've got to keep the plane of all the other rafters in the plane of the roof so that means it sat back a lot so the height above plate oh you'll not know what i'm on about i'm sure unless you're in the trade i've been doing it today so it's fresh on my mind but here we are uh completely burglar proof window coverings there above the old bathroom window so that'll be coming out soon as will the whole of this wall and the toilet etc so the most important thing is getting this place watertight windows doors and roof and then as soon as that happens this corner here is all coming out so from this section down all the way down all the way down to the 
floor following the line of that window as well all out and then around here these two steel beams bolt into this steel beam to carry both the external wall up there and the internal wall up there so these beams will come across here and they will terminate against this section here and then all this brickwork underneath where these two windows are can then come out and that will all come out all the way down here all the way down to the floor as well all the way down there and then this will all be open plan so you'll be able to see all the way back to that back wall there which is approximately five meters and then all the way across to that wall there which is uh, 4.5 internally so it'll be a big master bedroom and then from here looking back this way this will be the door to the bathroom you've got two windows in the bathroom I'm not sure that actually that window wasn't on spec I've added it afterwards and I'm not sure if I should have done it or not because we was hoping to have a corner bath of some type down there and I'm just thinking if we have any lighting in the bathroom that's behind us then my man boobs you know they're gonna be kind of silhouetted much like this while I'm soaping myself up and you'll be able to see me out the window so I don't know whether that's a good idea or not oh, I finally get to see my ugly mug I'm very stuffy and bunged up because I've been on the roof today uh, obviously intersecting that uh, if you can see it probably not it's not a very good angle uh, putting this ridge beam in anyway up there into the roof taking the tiles off and all of the muck and junk and dust that's up there has just uh, filled with all my sinuses and my airways and then because I've been on the roof I've caught the sun here it's a bit of better lighting look at that look like I've been on holiday don't I <laughs> so I thought it's about time I did a bit of an update I've actually taken two or three videos over the past few weeks which I meant to edit up and then it's got that far down the line that uh, it doesn't make any sense putting them up like I did a lovely spring walk around one of my favorite dog walking locations Curtin Wood um, near Egmonton in uh, North Nottinghamshire and it's a fantastic not wildlife trust nature reserve that has an abundance of wildflowers so I had a walk around tried to identify some things got a few things wrong probably but I'm not sure because I didn't edit the video and that's the problem you see I had all the best intentions in the world of going out filming something while I had a bit of time on my hands walking the dog I say time on my hands it was like literally um, before work in the morning with Jem it was maybe 10 o'clock but I was working the kitchen uh, at the brew shed and that's what I've been doing quite a lot actually I've been working in the kitchen there because we had a change of chefs I think I've spoke about it in the in the past few videos but yeah we've changed the chefs and the new guys that come on board well I wanted to make sure that they knew exactly what I wanted them to do so I've been working in there for a month or two and I'm not gonna lie I freaking love it I love it because I can be really creative and you know uh, I love food I love cooking food and much like uh, brewing beer I love cooking food for other people as well and it does give you a buzz when you get the feedback and people thought you know it was the best burger they've ever had or whatever it is really good so anyway this is an update of of what we've done and what we've achieved so far make sure I don't fall down the, the trap and uh, I need to go and have a shower so hopefully uh, this isn't 10 minutes of your life wasted and you get to see what we're up to and uh, I will do my very best to try and capture a little bit more footage in the future footage 
footage in the future and, uh, and keep you up to date with what's going on. But life is hectic at the minute, I can tell you that. So thanks for watching guys and uh, well, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.